Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create an organization chart in Excel effortlessly. The organization chart conveys a company's internal structure by displaying a reporting relationship hierarchy. Generally, people struggle a lot with shapes and connectors to create an organization chart in Excel or PowerPoint. Some even believe that it can be done only in special apps like Visio. Not realizing that it can be done so effortlessly in Excel using smart art preset styles. Let me guide you. So here I have already created a list of position in an organization displayed as per the reporting hierarchy. Usually what people do is go to insert shapes, choose a shape say rectangle and then type in the first position as CEO it now that uh, now the president reports into the CEO so second position is gonna be president we'll just make the changes here now uh, the president reports into the CEO so we are going to insert a line demonstrating that president reports into the CEO and similarly we will keep on creating several rectangle boxes to illustrate to make the organization chart this is or old and old school method now let me show you the quickest way of making the organization chart with the uh, smart art free styles so we'll find the same it in insert tab under the illustrations go to smart art And then here we see uh, different categories of smart art graphics to choose from say list process these all things we can use while making dashboards they make them dash they make the dashboards very attractive as of now I'm gonna click on hierarchy and choose uh, even this brings up different styles of charts uh, which of some of these uh, include uh, pictures see here in this we can include the pictures of people for this example I'm gonna choose the first one click OK now to enable the text pane this is the way we'll enable the text pane. Before that, I'll be copying all these positions and control A to select all these text and control V to paste of all of them. Uh, now I'll just drag, this is quite small, so I'll just drag over and expand this a bit so when we have pasted these in all the positions are in the same level and when I created the list of titles I try to make it so that it was already organized by department and in hierarchical order this makes it easier to use tabs to reformat how who reports to whom is displayed so I'll we'll just hit tabs in the text pane to show which position report into which other position. So for example, the president reports into the CEO. So we will tab over once. The executive assistant to the president reports into the president. So we'll tab over twice. Similarly, vice president of marketing 
also reports to the president so we'll tab over twice Uh, the executive assistant to VP of finance reports into the vice president of marketing. So, we'll tab over three times. The re director comes under the executive assistant to finance. So, similarly, we'll be tabbing as per our need. The senior finance manager, manager we will select both of them because they both report to the director. So tab over so that it comes align, comes under director of finance. Similarly, the finance managers report to the senior finance manager. So we will tab over number of times we need. Let me just expand this. The administrative assistant is under the finance manager. So tab over. So uh, we'll keep doing this for HR, doing the same for HR department. Now the vice, vice president of HR also comes under the president. So we'll just tab over once here because this is a different department altogether. Now the ex executive assistant comes under um, president as well. So we'll tab over once. The director comes under the executive assistant to VP of HR. So we'll tab over twice. Similarly, the senior managers tab over three times. Select the HR managers together. Tab over, tab over. So that they are aligned properly. Now the last one is administrative assistant HR. So uh, you see how this is changing our organization chart here, how beautifully it has arranged the positions in hierarchical order. So it is uh, likely that over time there will be changes to the positions and some will need to be moved, some to be deleted and new ones will be added. This can be easily updated in the text pane. How to activate the text pane? Just click on the chart. If it is not activated, just activate it this way. So let's say for example, we have a third senior HR manager. So what are we going to do is senior HR manager. So we'll just copy this and enter here and paste. See, now we'll have third HR manager here. Um, and just uh, and let's say we want to move admin assistant HR to report some different managers. Suppose this uh, administrative assistant is not reporting here, but instead it is reporting to the first HR manager. So what we can do is tab like this. So you see it is now moved from HR manager to administrative HR. Now we're just going to expand this chart. Uh, now notice uh, your uh, smart art tools option up here so we can use use these styles to format our chart for example uh, we change this so that uh, see here we have several options this comes along this organization comes chart comes along with the pictures of the people here you can even write the position, uh, the names of the uh, people and here it is with the pictures in other format and whereas here you will go and you can go and change the color suppose we pick this color hmm. now that we have organized our organization chart the way we want we can just add links to the bios of some of the senior associates here in this sheet, I have already created the uh, bio 
uh, to make it easier we'll just uh, define the names here so go go here and define it as say ceo so now go to the organization chart select this rectangle first rectangle and click on link now simply um, if you want to link uh, to a web page or a different file you can select from here from here but in this example we are going to select the place in this document so we'll go to this tab and then you can uh, just select you see here are all the defined name so we just named it as ceo so select this click an okay okay just now go out of this chart and try to click we'll just click this and it jumps into the ceo's profile i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create an organization chart in microsoft excel using smart art three styles if you did please make sure you to like the video and don't for don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you all